This next song is about the mother of a very good friend of mine, a friend who's been a friend for over 40 years. She, her name was Vonda Lindner, and she was born and grew up in, the, in Warsaw. And after the Germans invaded in the, the, um, during World War II, uh, that became the Warsaw Ghetto. And all of her family, every single one of her family, were, were, were sent off to concentration camps and never seen again. She and her husband managed to stay alive by working in uh, a factory, a German factory. They were paid nothing, they were just given enough food to keep alive. And they managed to escape from the ghetto uh, as it was burning. And they spent over a year living in the roof space, the space between the ceiling and the roof of a house out in the countryside where they couldn't even stand up or anything like that. And the woman that gave them sanctuary would um, uh, they'd haul up a bucket uh, each night after everyone else in the house was asleep with the, the food for them and the waste coming down. <laughs> and she didn't tell her husband because he liked a little bit of a drink and she didn't tell her children because children might say something. And any word that got out, that it was curtains for the, for the entire family. So she was a bit of a hero. And in fact, my, my friend and his brother went over to Poland and found her many years later, about 20 years ago. They found her and they got her on uh, and the house and they got them on the phone together. They hadn't been in contact since the end of the war. So that was a beautiful thing. And they, they um, set in motion the process for her to become uh, declared a righteous Gentile, which is a high award by the Israeli state. So this is her story. He told me her story and, um, and he asked me if I'd write a song about it. No pressure. You know, this amazing story. Um, but... Uh, I did, and um, he's pleased with the song, so I, that's the best um, judgment, I think, about it. But what I think is important about this story is it's just one story. Like, it's, a, it's an amazing story, but it's one story of literally millions. And we know some of these stories, but we also don't know most of the stories because so many of the people that were under the same circumstances never made it out. We no one knows their stories. No one knows what became of them. And, you know, I grew up in St Kilda, which is a suburb in, in Melbourne, which um, at the time when I grew up uh, was basically full of uh, refugee families. And most of my friends were the children of Holocaust survivors. Although I didn't really realise that at the time. So this song and story resonates a lot with me as well. So this is von der Linde's story. Her hair was blonde, her eyes were blue. Might not take her for a Jew, but this is 1942 in Warsaw. Vonda's sisters and her cousins and her father and her mother took the train like all the others out of Warsaw. Not one of them was seen again. She had no family now, just a man to survive any way they can in Warsaw. Have a choice, they told her. Yes, you are free to choose. You can work for us now. Or we can put you on a train. Like all those other Jews. And so they worked in Schultz's factory. For no pay barely fed, making uniforms, German army uniforms, if it was that or they'd be dead, and now I wear this golden bracelet engraved with her name, it makes it like she's always near me, close at hand. I wear it, and I remember her long ago in a faraway land. In 43, the ghetto was ablaze. They bribed a guard, and with fake papers, by some miracle, they escaped from Warsaw. For 14 months, they hid away. Lying in a narrow roof space, just one false move would give the game away. 
Then finally, the Russian forces rolled on in and won that war. They both ended up, long story short, in Melbourne. From the ashes of the old world, war saw the end of all they knew across the ocean. But all that water couldn't wash away the nightmares of all that they'd been through. And now I wear this golden bracelet engraved with her name. It makes it like she's always near me, close at hand. I wear it. And I remember her long ago in a far away land. Lifetime pass, seven decades, the German government agrees to pay for all those years of forced labor in Warsaw. The letter came through seven days after Von de peacefully passed away at the tender age of 98 in Melbourne. Seven decades to say sorry, a few euros. And a letter's all we get. It's not much, but it's enough for us each to buy something of gold. So we won't forget. And now I wear this golden bracelet engraved with her name. It makes it like she's always near me, close at hand. I wear. And I remember her long ago in a far away land. I wear it, and I remember.